Hey guys, it's Jem. I'm back with another episode of Final Fantasy IV. Um, so we are heading off to Troya now, which I think is to the west, in our fancy new airship called the Enterprise. I honestly don't remember where Troya is. Uh, so there might be some searching. I, part of me wants to think that this is like the... Troya? Might be Troya. Uh, might be the Dark Elf area, which is an annoying dungeon. Troya! Yay! Welcome to Troya, city of Sylvan Streams. Oh, there's a dancer. Welcome. Okay. So if this is where I think we are, I'm going to need weapons that aren't metal. Essentially. Which is why I'm buying those crappy things. I think it is, because everything is leather or clothing. So... Yeah, I think essentially I can't have anything metal in the area that we're going to as part of this quest line. Ah! What are you thinking sneaking up behind an old man like that? Phew! Go find your own spot! Here's the dancer. You'll rest your armor swimming around in it like that. Oh, you startled me. Joining us for a swim? Well, I guess they aren't dancers. I guess they're just randos. I guess this is just where all the dancers come from. Have you ever heard of Whisperweed? It's a plant you can use to throw your voice really far. At least that's what I heard. here? I guess. Oh, oh. I guess there's some invisible stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess I can kind of see the squares supposed to be. Yeah. Interesting. That was a nice little diversion. So we heard about Whisperweed there. Which I don't remember if it actually is something. It might be. It might not be. It might just be. I don't know. They don't usually put things in for fluff in these older games. Hmm. I'll have to think on it. I mean, we should in theory be running into Edward soon. Because we've run into everybody else that we've lost. Um, and he's... Him and Rydia are the only ones that are missing. I know where to find Rydia. Um, which won't be for... A little bit, from what I remember. Okay, definitely gotta restock on her... On these. <laughs> Okay, 
so that was that. Uh, so there's just these two houses to check out. The pub. Welcome. Oh, she's got stuff. A member's bread. Ferment Sentry to the King's Bounty Pub in Troya. Well, I don't have a hundred thousand skill. May I see your member's writ? I do not have one. Alright, I managed to get a seat at a table today. Why, hello, young sir. Is there if there is anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to ask. I've every intention of living in another forty years. I'll take this place over heaven any day of the week. Oh, Stella. How oh, I love you. Hey, wait a minute, Stella. You're not really a woman, are you? <laughs> Does it matter? Oh my, you're a cute one, aren't ya? Why don't you let Stella here get a closer look? Hmm? What say you, you young fellow, spend a few hours with me? I'll show you a good time. <laughs> Come on, don't give me that face. That was funny. I trust you have a full purse, sir. Nothing comes cheaply here. No matter how many times I visit this place, I never tire of the ladies. Truly top class. Cat battle going on right beside me. I love this place. The air is sweet, the food sweeter, and I feel so at ease with all the other girls about. They just uh, ran and jumped on my boyfriend who's taking a nap. How dare that greasy old graver try to take my Jennifer. Oh, I need to go get the food from downstairs. And seeing my chance, I thrust my blade into that goblin's heart, putting an end to its foul ways for good and for all. This old geezer won't stop rambling on about his battle stories. I swear if I hear one more stupid goblin... Members only, come on now, get out. Of course, anything to buy your love, my sweet. Next time I want furs, and nice ones too, nothing cheap. So I think we know what kind of pup this is. Nothing wrong with that. Damn, we know now what it is. Will you please stop pestering me? Can't you see I'm sunbathing? Not long ago, I ventured out to the cave on the island to the northeast, prospecting for gems. The iron strung box I carried jumped right out of my hand and struck the cavern floor. Couldn't budget for all I tried. Can't have any metal going there. When we do. Where's that old husband of mine gone off this time? Our soil, our rich soil and ample waters allow us to raise a variety of crops. And growing fresh greens allows us to raise hardy chocobos in turn. Oh, I think we need chocobos to get to the island. Or we need something, them for something. Chocobo husbandry for the fledging breeder. Alright, I think we're done in the town of Troya. So there was also the castle there, which is where we need to go to talk to about the crystal. Because that was demanded. Hail travelers and welcome to Troya. May you find rest and respite within our walls. The music here is so nice. You wish to speak of the crystal? Then you'll need to seek an audience with the Eptots, Epots inside the castle proper. I am probably not saying that right. Uh, they are solemn servants of the divine. Conduct yourself with the utmost respect in their presence. A 
survivor of the assault on ah, Edward was found vanished, uh, washed up on the shore. He recovered within the castle. Man claims to be a prince, though that is not something I am inclined to believe. Victoria has never known war. We are a peaceful people. If it came to our and I'm not sure we'd be able to fully defend ourselves. Do not speak to me as if I were some common grandmother. I am Troya's Lady Chancellor. Uh, you'll find them in the chamber behind us. It may not look it, but this is actually our battle uniform. It affords little protection, but it does provide mobility, and it is fashionable. That sounds like you're trying to make excuses for how ridiculous armor is for women in these games. Hands for you, how dare you? I am a shield maiden, not some two guild performer. Baron's aggressions broaden, yes, but surely they'll not spread this far. Please mind your voices, an injured man rests within. Prince Edward is bedridden. Edward's heart rests upon the floor. You mustn't make him exert himself. He had a fragile constitution to begin with, and now he's weakened even more. Edward. Oh, Cecil, so you'd survive too. You cannot know how I've worried. I, I must fight by your side again. Fight? Fight to stay on your feet, perhaps. Don't be a fool. You need to rest and recover. Ella. You're well, then. Please accept my apologies for what happened to... Joanna. Died because... Because of me. Know that I am truly... <laughs> Edward... You mustn't strain yourself to speak. Gang, you're alive too. What of Rydia? I could not save her. I see. Poor child. Forgive me, all of you are fighting and I but lie in bed. Don't you worry, me and my enterprise are taking up the slack. Hurt your risky neck for Cecil and Rosa. Now it's my turn. You leave old things. You leave things to old Sid for a while. You're Sid, and you escaped with an airship. Wait, that's so what's become of Rosa. She remains captive. They have demanded Troya's Earth Crystal in exchange for her life, but the crystal. Uh, apparently, we were supposed to go talk to the people first, uh, because they. Are just randomly know that it's gone. Yes, it has been stolen. I'll go talk to them next. A dark elf, you say. That's what I want you to have this. What is it? The only way I can come to you now. Please carry it with you. Obtain the whisper weed. So we did need it. So um, this allows him to talk to us, I guess, or something. That's all you must save, Rosa. I think, like, one of his weaknesses is, like, music or something weird. Um, but yeah, we were supposed to go talk to the leaders here. And I just went exploring. I'll do that now. Eight are sisters all, stewards of the crystal from times immemorial. We are better ruled by women who know grace and civility than by men with their barbarous ways and love of war. Uh, we are the rulers of Troya. Our land has always been blessed by the Earth Crystal's bounty, but now the crystal is gone and I fear for our future. We cannot give you the Earth Crystal, but we could lend it to you for a time. Of course, you will need to recover it first. Retrieve the crystal for us and we will allow you to borrow it, but we ask that you bring it before us first. Dark Hells are extremely vulnerable to weapons forged of metal. The one who stole the crystal has turned the walls of his cave to a lodestone, erecting a powerful magnetic field 
as a means of protection. Without the Earth Crystal's boons, the land of plenty will soon revert to a barren wasteland. The Dark Elf who stole the crystal dwells on a cave on the island to the northeast. Should you enter the Lodestone Cavern northeast with any metal weapons or armor, the magnetic field will render you nearly immobile. You came to speak of the Earth Crystal? Then you came too late, I'm afraid. It has been stolen by a Dark Elf and now grows weaker by the day. There, crystal gone. This was once our dungeon, but it now serves as a storage vault for our treasures. I can allow you inside only with the fever's leave. Did they give you permission to enter? They did not. My, you're an honest one. At least we got that treasure. I got some Bacchus wine. Yeah, I think this one is supposed to be modeled after, like, culture. Yeah, there was like um, an Eastern influence of Fabul and um, um, Baron's very medieval, but like also kind of steampunkish. Uh, and Masidia's. I can't remember. I just don't remember Masidia. So I think this is where we need to go. Oh, I can't land here. That's why. I know I need the black chocobos. Here's another chocobo. Uh, maybe I'll go talk to that guy again. I'll, um, cut to pretty much anything interesting. Aha! Chocobos are cute. They're a little stinky, though. I'm gonna fly on a black chocobo. They always get mad when I try to get close. I don't think they like me. Probably never encountered one of these before, eh? Black chocobo, them. Flyers. These ones here are farm-raised. They can't fly like the ferals. 
Find one of the wild ones in the woods up north, though, and you'll see. It's a sight to behold. Black chocobo in flight. Uh, not the highest of flyers, but they get around. Even see them down here occasionally. Here, they'll only land in the woods, though. That's what we gotta do. Uh, a variety of recent discovery resembling fair feather cousin saves for its sable plume. Alright, so we have to go in and do some battles, like, guess in the woods until we find them. So I'll essentially just cut till I get one, I guess. Well, at least they gave me Sid at a respectable level, like everybody else. Oh, Chocobo Village. Yeah. Oh. I'll come back. You should explore. Chocobo! The best! Oh, listen to that music! It's so good! I love it! They're not higher flyers, but they can't go over the mountains like the airship. But they're enough to get over here. Thanks, friend! Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Um, I gotta switch all my equipment over to non-metal stuff, so I'll come back. Alright, I think I got it all out now. Might have to... I'll know as soon as I can. Battle. Better remove all our metal armor and weapons if we want to be able to move in here. My claw- oh shit, I can have it. And we have my magic as well. There's nothing to fear. Basically, Cecil kind of sucks. Here. Um, so I don't even know if the fire shard's gonna work. Um, oh, pretty. Cornhorn do. Oh, that's cool. Donna for Hall. Oh, this place sucks so much.
safe room. I like safe rooms. <laughs> Nice. I kind of forgot to buy him a second set when I was first equipping him and never noticed. <laughs> Okay, I gotta go back. Oh, cut back to here. room. Nothing really exciting. I don't know if that was really worth going back for, but I guess, I mean, it'll be useful. And I guess I have leveled up a bit. I think we're near the dude, the dark elf guy. Oh, nice. Alright, let's go face him. Over here. Treasure. Oh. Well, that was more exciting than what was in the chest. Alright, here's LP Boy. I applaud your perseverance. But the Earth Crystal is mine, and I will not surrender it. Your journey ends here. You truly really think those pitiful weapons of yours are a match for my spells? That's all. Leave this one to us. That goofball.
fools, behold the power you face. Well, fuck me. I think that's supposed to happen, though. If only I could wield my sword. They're in danger. Prince Edward, what's come over you? You're in no condition to be moving. I'll be fine. I, I, I need to only reach my heart. Ugh. Please, you must return to your bed. You've not regained the strength for such exertion. No, I'm the only one. The only one who can save them. of Edward's heart begins to resonate from Whisperweed. Oh! That beautiful sound. It's Edward's harp. What is this torturous noise? No, no! Right now, Cecil. You will not be able to maintain the strength of the magnetic field while I'm playing. Pick up your sword. You will be able to wield it now. Right. Uh, now I get to do this. Oh, and he healed me too, isn't that so nice? Fine, Edward. I don't hate you as much anymore. <laughs> How dare you! I will kill you all! Yeah, so the reason it they did say it, but the reason he has like the magnetic field is because he's really weak to metal. Do a big, a big. <laughs> Hello. 
It seems as form will not suffice. I wonder if that'll work. Probably won't, but eh, it's worth a try. There we go. I do like this boss, like, as annoying as this dungeon is because, like, you're basically super weak without your weapons, it is a well done dungeon because, like, you have to think about it. And then the same with the boss, like, yeah, it has the false start where it's like, yeah, you're too weak really to do this. And then, like, of course, Edward comes in and it's like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it was great. No, how did that cursed sound reach this place? With the crystal, I was supposed to have life eternal. Ah. Bah. Thank you, Edward. And we got the earth crystal. So I think this is the first one we have officially had in our inventory. Um, yeah, we're gonna just peace on out here. Cause 
As much as I think this is a cool concept dungeon, I... <laughs> uh, although, like, I... And... It's not a big deal now, but... How's that escape? Emergency exit. I think it's escape rope in Pokemon. <laughs> there we go, and there's our little chocobo friend. Oh, it's just taking us back. Cool. What's that white one? My oh, free heels. Hit you again and then just fly back to Troya. <laughs> yeah! Fly back to Troya. So the uh, the priestesses they wanted to see us before we brought the crystal to Gilbez, so we're just gonna do that, and then we're probably gonna do that's probably gonna be it for this game. There we go. The crystal. The Earth Crystal is returned. You truly managed to reclaim it. At last. I see you have the crystal. I know that voice. Kane. Exit the castle and board your airship. I will take you to the tower where Rosa is held. Your situation appears no less dire than our own. We will lend you the crystal as promised. What was that voice? We only just regained the crystal, but it seems we have no choice. Take it, but return to us as soon as you're able. You may borrow the crystal, but guard it well. We will be of what aid we can. Please take any treasure from our basement vaults that you can use. And now I can go up the treasure. Whose voice was that just now? What happened? The power of a crystal was shaped by the heart of the one who holds it in evil hands. The crystal may be twisted into a terrible thing. Uh, no, it's. Alright, we're gonna go get some treasure. Let them shannies. I think it was the left side. I think I got the right side already. We do have permission. I just got 50,000 gil. That's what that achievement is. You can tell we're gonna meet up with Rosa again because we're getting all her weapons. Um, definitely not a bad haul. Crystal. Well, that reminds me. Give him his ability.
All right, let's go check on Edward real quick. I don't think he's coming with us yet, but um, just in case. You did it, didn't you? Thanks to you, Edward. You needn't thank me, it was the only thing I could do. How did you know the song would break his spell? I learned that tune some years ago while traveling as a bard. It is a melody used to ward off evil fae. I thought it perhaps might serve to disrupt his concentration. We owe you our lives. Me? No, I... I only... Edward? Stella, I... Well, on it no more. Anna was happy to have been loved by a man as brave as you. Stella. All you need to concern yourself with now is your health. Rest and grow strong again. I will see the debt for Anna's death repaid with Meteor. And I shall do it for the both of us, Edward. Thank you. You have more courage than you realize, Edward. I believe I understand now what Anna was trying to tell me. Thus will take this with you. And please, save Rosa. Uh... Oh, obtain the bard song. Augment. I don't know what that augment does. I guess it just teaches bard song. Um. I don't know who I give it to. I think on it. All right, now go outside and deal with Kane. Actually, I'm going to stop it here, and then we'll meet up with Kane, and then head to the tower and try and save Rosa in the next episode. So I think this is a pretty good pattern to kind of like one dungeon quest line at a time. Um, because it kind of keeps the videos a little more manageable as well. Um, based on the last few that I have recorded today. So yeah, we'll we'll do that. Alright. Uh, with that, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you.